Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this 2021 Mazda CX-9. This one is the carbon edition package and it's brand new for 2021. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the features this one has. So under the hood, they're going to be a 2.5 turbocharged four-cylinder engine connected to a six-speed automatic transmission. Horsepower numbers are 227. The torque numbers are 320. But if you actually put premium gas, the horsepower numbers will go up to 250. But anyways, the MPG numbers are 20 in the city, 26 highway, and 23 combined. So if you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Poly Metal Gray and honestly looks beautiful on this Mazda CX-9. But coming to the front, I love the way how the grille looks like. And for 2021, I believe each trim gets their own grille. And for the headlights, everything inside of those headlights are LED. And I just love the way how the headlights get extended it's nice and slim and it just has a really nice look to it and I love the fact that this chrome piece right here gets extended into the headlight just looks really really good and you could actually see inside of the headlights there is a little bit of that chrome inside there so basically it gets connected kind of and as I said that chrome piece in the bottom just looks very very nice and the grille has a really nice look to it it's finished in gloss black And here is the Mazda badge and the Mazda badge actually has all the safety features in it so basically it's the sensor for all the safety features and the bottom you'll have some sensors and this is actually functional in the bottom and I love the chrome piece all the way in the bottom section of the bumper just looks very very nice and it just gives the SUV a really nice look and this piece right here this is actually not functional I really wish it was functional but honestly guys overall the design of this Mazda CX-9 looks very good but let's go ahead and move to the side and I'm going to show you the side view of this CX-9 so here is the side view of this CX-9 and I have to say that front end looks very very aggressive from the side and overall I just love the way how this carbon fiber edition looks but anyways guys for the rims the rims are finished in gloss black and the size of them are 255 50 20s they look just perfect and i love the size of them and there is a good amount of rubber around those rims right here in the bottom they're going to be some flat black and around the wheels they're going to be a little bit of flat black but i'm glad it's not too thick and the bottom they're going to be a chrome trim i wish that chrome trim was actually blacked out in this carbon edition package around the window sills they're going to be a little bit more chrome but it's actually not that bad and up top they're going to be a roof rail that is finished in silver and for the mirror the mirror housing is finished in gloss black and it does have a turn signal indicator on it so here's the back of the cx9 and i have to say it does look really good but i'm not a big fan of this chrome piece in the middle it just looks out of place and i just don't like it but the tail light design is very very nice and I like the fact that it gets extended into the quarter panel just what is going on in the front for the uh, headlights again this chrome piece just doesn't look that good and I wish uh, Mazda does something about that chrome piece I really wish they probably move it down or maybe remove it Mazda badge will be in the middle sky active all the way to the right and this CX-9 is actually actually an all-wheel drive CX-9 you could actually get the CX-9 with front-wheel drive you will have CX-9 and all-wheel drive badge right there on the left and in the bottom you will have some sensors and the bottom portion of the bumper is actually finished in flat black and they're going to be more chrome in the bottom so I really like that nice chrome trim in the bottom and for the exhaust tips, the exhaust tips are a little bit on the smaller side, but they look right. They are actually connected to the exhaust pipe, which is good. And then there are going to be reflectors on the left and right. But overall, the back of this Mazda CX-9 looks pretty good, but I really wish that Mazda does something about this chrome piece right there in the middle. So here is the key, and the key looks all right. I wish it had a different look to it, but there are going to be buttons right here on the side, lock, unlock, trunk release, and a panic button. And Mazda is going to be right there. So to open the tailgate, there are going to be three buttons, one on the key, one on the tailgate, and one inside. And it does have automatic tailgate release. And here is the button for the tailgate. In the back, there are going to be a good amount of space here. 12 volt on the right 
and on the left there is actually nothing. I really wish there was a light right here. So with the seats up, there is an okay space back here. And actually down here, there's going to be a good amount of storage underneath the floor. But let me go ahead and drop the seats down and show you how this Mazda CX-9 looks with the third row down. So to put the third row down, you have to push this down like this and it's gonna be a little bit hard to do it with one hand, but basically that's how you do it. Same thing for the other side too. And actually with the third row down, there is a good amount of space back here. You'll have a USB on the left with a little bit of storage and a cup holder. And same thing for the other side as well. A USB and cup holder and a storage place. But back here, there's actually a good amount of space. But let's go ahead and move inside this SUV and I'll go ahead and show you the rest of it. So here is the door handle. The door handle does not have a sensor right behind it and it is finished in the same color as the SUV. But to lock, unlock the SUV, you actually have to click on this button and the mirrors will actually fold in when you lock the CX-9. So here is the door panel and the door panel has a really nice look to it. It feels very nice and luxurious. And this top portion right here is nice and soft. This is actually plastic. I'm not a big fan of the trim. I wish it had a different trim. Door handle feels nice and solid. This is actually wrapped in leather, which is nice, and the armrest feels nice and soft. I love the red stitching right here on the armrest. Here are the window switches and mirror controls and door locks, and I love the gloss black and the chrome around the gloss black. It just looks very high quality, and the buttons have a really nice uh, feedback, basically, or sound to them when you open or uh, close uh, the windows. And then actually right here, this is there's more of that kind of gray trim that you will find right here but anyways this this is plastic which is expected for the bottom of the door a good amount of storage place right here and a bottle holder and this cx9 has the bose sound system good looking speaker and i love the brushed aluminum around the um uh, the speaker itself and i love the fact that it says bose right there so here is the driver's seat and it looks very good i love the red leather and it's actually very comfortable. You will have the seat controls right here in the bottom with lumbar support. And then you will have the memory seats right here. And overall, those seats look very, very good. And I love the fact that Mazda is using very high quality for the same price as a Honda and a Toyota. So here is the interior of the CX-9 and I just love the way how everything looks and I just love the fact that Mazda uses very high quality for the same exact price as Toyota and Honda. So basically you can get the same uh, things in a Toyota or Honda but you won't get that nice uh, upscale look that Mazda offers. So for the steering wheel, I love the way how it looks. It's a little bit on the thinner side but it's fine. It's a family SUV so it doesn't really have to be thick. There's a little bit of 10 and 2 grip. The uh, so the middle section of the steering wheel looks very good. I love the fact that the middle section is very nice and small and just looks very, very nice. You'll have some breast aluminum right here. On the left, you'll have your radio controls and volume controls and Bluetooth controls right underneath. To the right, they're going to be the uh, safety features, the adaptive cruise control and the cruise control um, buttons. And overall, it just looks very, very nice. To the left, there are going to be the headlight controls, turn signal controls. To the right, wiper controls for the front and rear. And on this steering wheel, there are going to be paddle shifters. Not a big fan of the way how they feel. They are a little bit on the cheaper side and a little bit plasticky. But again, I don't think a lot of people are going to be using those paddle shifters in a family SUV. All the way to the left, there are going to be the tailgate release and the sensor and this is basically, I think, the off-road mode. I'm not exactly sure what is this exactly used for. Or maybe this is, uh, will lock some wheels. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not exactly sure what's this button for. Link keep assist. And 
for the screen. The screen is a 10.25 inch screen. It looks very good. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and it's actually not touch. So the only way to actually control it, you have to control it from this small knob. Very easy to use. And as I said, it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And it's very nice and responsive. But right here, of course, the vents. And I love the chrome around the vents. And just start stop. And right here is going to be a heated steering wheel. And in this CX-9, there are going to be some cold seats and heated seats. And the climate controls are actually very easy to use. You have your fan, fan speed right here. This is a button to turn off and turn on the uh, climate control. It does have the auto function and it does have the sync function as well. So that's really nice. And actually, in front of the shifter, there's going to be a wireless phone charger and a little bit more storage right behind it. And here is the shifter. Six speed automatic transmission with plus and minus. And as I said, it does have paddle shifters on the steering wheel. And here is the mode selector. You'll have sport and normal. And here is the controls to control the 10.25 inch display. Electronic e-brake right here. Brake hold. And here is the volume knob. Two cup holders. And I love the finish around the two cup holders. The, it has this nice chrome trim around them. And here is the armrest. The armrest is actually nice and soft. And you could open one if you want to. Or you could open both. There are going to be two USB and a good amount of storage place inside of this armrest. And I love the red stitching right here on the side. Up top, there are going to be a frameless mirror. And the mirror itself just looks amazing. It's a little bit on the bigger side, but I love the fact that it's frameless. Glasses holders right here. You'll have some LED lights, of course which is nice. And then you will have, of course, the sunroof, uh, uh, sunroof. And here is the sunroof control. And you'll have a button to turn off, uh, to basically turn on or off the lights whenever the doors are open. So here is the back door and the back door is the same as the front. Nice soft material right here. And it's going to actually have this privacy cover in the back door. And the glass right here in the back is actually uh, tinted. Uh, this is plastic just like the front. This is wrapped in leather. The armrest feels nice like the front door. More of that red stitching and I love the fact that it keeps going into the door handle. Here is the window switch with some gloss around it and chrome. Bose, Bose sound system um, the speakers and it does have Bose written in the back here. A good amount of storage place here in the back. A bottle holder and this is plastic which is expected. And inside those seats are the captain seats and you could get the CX-9 with basically three seats here in the back. Two cup holders inside and they're going to be a climate control here in the back with heated seats. So to basically drop this section of the seat down, just go ahead and lift this up and it goes down like this. So to be able to move the seat to the front to be able to access third row you actually have to lift this up but before i actually do that the second row actually has some armrests so that's really nice that they give you armrests here in the back just go ahead and do that and move it to the front but i'm going to go ahead and move back there and uh, basically tell you what i think about those rear seats so here is the third row and i have to say the third row is a little bit on the smaller side the second row is actually set in a position where I'm very nice and comfortable right there. Here, it's not too bad, but I wish there was a little bit more uh, space here in the third row. Other SUVs, I think they offer a little bit more uh, leg space right here in the back. And I'm glad that they give you a cup holder and storage place right here and a USB. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I would like to thank Rashid here at Mazda in Milford for providing me this beautiful 2021 Mazda CX-9. If you guys are interested, make sure to come check them out. I'm going to go ahead and put their link and information in the bottom of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.